A former professional basketball player and PE coach, Grace Daly brought a lot of those concepts to the kindergarten classroom. The biggest thing I brought with me was structure and discipline, because without those two things, there's no learning and there's no fun. So immediately, when I walk into this door, I have soldiers in training, absolutely. We walk on the line, one behind the other, we know when it's time to speak, we know when it's time to listen. And with that environment, great things can happen, just like in a game. If there's structure and there's discipline, that's when there's fun, that's when championships are won. On the surface, you'd be hard pressed to find any structure or discipline on a typical day in her classroom. In my classroom, it is different, there's no doubt about that. I have what we call a learning party every single day. I spend hours and hours planning to make sure that every experience that my children have in here, my students, is unique and memorable. So all throughout the day, the kids are up, they're moving, they're having fun, and just enjoying the entire learning process. Daly has a bit of a golden rule in her teaching methods. Teach unto others as you would have taught under you. I call what my class is, is a kinetic kindergarten class. Everything is geared around motion and movement. I'm a kinetic learner myself, so it's one thing to see something on paper, but it's a completely different thing when you get to put that thing into motion. So for my kindergartners, I teach the same way I learn, and I learn by doing. And I think as humans, that's the best way for us to learn is by actually becoming active participants in the process. Because when you become an active part, like a physically active part of the learning process, things stick, they stay in your mind. So it's also a lot of fun. And when you get moving, that stimulates your brain. So when it is time to sit down, because we do have times when we have to read stories and relax, you'll be much more relaxed and your brain will be much more in tune to learn. Speaking of tunes, Daly uses a lot of them in her class. Music is involved, I would say 50% of the day, if not more, because we start our day with music and then we relax for a little bit, we do our spelling routine, and then 20 minutes later, we're back to music again. And the music is, I'm incorporating all of the different um, academic areas that we're supposed to cover. So when it's time to do spelling, there are songs for us to learn about spelling. When it's time for us to do reading, we have songs to get us excited about reading. When it's time to do math, we have songs to teach us how to add and subtract and do everything that we need to learn. Going through the Golden Apple selection process, particularly the classroom observations, has made Daly and her students even better. What it did was really help me be accountable for every minute of my day. We had to submit our schedule in advance, and I was doing, a, I thought I was doing a great job of staying on schedule and doing everything as planned. When the observation committee was coming during that month of January, I became the most awesome teacher that I've ever been. And that's carried on even till today and that will carry on the rest of my career. So I love the fact that they were gonna come unannounced and that I had to be doing exactly what was on the paper. So it's made me a better teacher. It's made my students, obviously, better students. This has been a fabulous process.